Man, I need some sleep. Nightmares just keep coming. Mm-hmm. I had a dream where I felt dead. I struggled and struggled, like I was being chased by something crazy. Mm-hmm. Yo, are you listening? Hey, Orlando. Man, we've had these crazy dreams every night. So how come we can't remember them clearly? Huh? Now that you mention it. I just... I can't shake this feeling. I, uh, I can't remember. The series of mysterious male deaths continues with another gruesome discovery this morning. Local dentist Steve Delome, age 42, was found dead at his home. His wife, who he'd been feuding with, found him dead in his sleep this morning. Like the other victims, his body was in an atypically weakened state, inconsistent with known causes of sudden death. I can't be. Huh? Hey, uh, you all right, man? Whoa, that dead guy on the nose just now, I know that guy. He lived in my neighborhood. The police came this morning. Oh, God, he was so loud. That sounds like a bad way to start the morning. That bastard was cheating on his wife with a younger woman. The entire neighborhood knew because he bragged about it to everyone. What a creep. You gotta feel bad for the kids in that situation. Oh, they didn't have any kids. But still, what a horrible man. Hey, what is it? We met last night. In my dream. Huh? Met who? I remember now. It was him. He died in my dream. Him? The guy in the news? <laughs> That's crazy talk, man. What did he say? Wait, that's right. It's, it's starting to come back to me now. He said it was a curse. Because he betrayed someone. Hey, cut that out. You're trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? You are fucking crazy. Well, maybe not. Think about it. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? How does this tie in with betrayal? I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah... Sorry. Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. We wake up all bleary-eyed and the world's full of rumors. Then we can't sleep because all this crazy shit's stuck in our heads. Y you're probably right. Exactly. I didn't betray anyone. I was the one who was betrayed. So why is... Fuck. I didn't mean to bring that up. I was... I was just thinking. Ah, uh, it's all stupid. Yeah. <sighs> Man. What about you? You dumped the girl you're cheating with? Actually, I was gonna go talk to her after this. <laughs> It'll be a horrible date, but I've made up my mind. I'm ending it. I see. When this is all done, I'm gonna propose to her. To the one I know I love. Of course, I haven't bought a ring yet. <laughs> and the ring can come anytime. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, what's up with Vincent over there? Just leave him alone. Don't get messed up and all that. Oh, hey, there's something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. Yesterday, I finally became a man. Got rid of my V-card. Boom! Uh, way back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Erica? Yep, bingo. Sorry I got to her first, man. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. It's probably just because it was my first time. Maybe, you know, just my imagination, but... So, so what happened to Johnny? You come here by yourself? <laughs> yeah, he's not coming today. He, uh, looked pretty bad earlier. <sighs> I see. Kinda of weird everyone's tired all the time, huh? Vincent's infected us, damn it. Uh, so you see, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> so then, there's someone else, isn't there? I've been meaning to tell you all this time, but I couldn't. I had a lot of things on my mind, and then you came along. 
I guess I was trying to escape reality. Do you like her more than me? Look, I'm sorry, but she's someone I really need to hold dear. So. Hold dear? Wait, so does that mean you're already dating her? I'm sorry. You don't mind. As long as I'm your number one, you can have fun with her. We can just go on like we've been doing. <laughs> well, you might not mind, but I do. Why? You want to know why. To be totally honest, she's pregnant with my child. <gasps> so, I've decided to marry her. Y you're joking, right? I I'm fine with that. I just... I want to be your girl, so... No way. I, I, I couldn't live like that. I can't see you anymore. You can't see me, but... no. Please don't. <laughs> Who wouldn't cry in a situation like this? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, but there's only room in my heart for Catherine. Look, it was a mistake, all right? <laughs> mistake? I'm not good looking. I, I don't have any money. So no matter how you spend it, I'm no good for you. You're still young, so you probably just went with the flow. So... It wasn't like that! Look, I know I'm being a real jerk, but we need to end this. I'll do anything else you ask of me. <laughs> anything else? What else is there? I'm going to die. Please don't say stuff like that. Just... Catherine, wait! Hey. Catherine, you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? Take it back. I... I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll do anything. What the hell does that mean? You are really pissing me off! You don't get it. I could do anything you want me to. Protecting you! Why are you trying to leave me? Ugh. Are you an idiot? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Shit. My spleen. Don't you see you're making a huge mistake? You really, really should not leave me! Even still, I... Stop! No, no, no weapons! Dude, what's up with that? That was Vincent's voice, right? Oh man, I hope he's okay. But that just means I want to be even less involved. Chief? You all right there, buddy? Uh, We're uh, heading home now. What's the story? You staying here? I don't want to move. Oh, hi, Erica. Vincent, why don't you go home? You look terrible. I deserve it. <laughs> huh? I lied to her. I hurt her, too. Uh. You're just gonna have to swear never to do this again. It's not the right thing to do, but just pretend this was a bad dream. 
You don't have to try and cheer me up. I need to apologize to Catherine someday. This isn't something I can keep quiet about. Look, just don't stress yourself. Just go home early today and get some sleep, okay? Yeah, I'll go after a couple of drinks. Tonight, I think I might actually be able to get some sleep. Toby. Huh? Huh? Uh, yeah, coming. You have to remember the good times. Life is too short. Are you gonna do this every month? <sighs> when we first started dating, we used to be like this. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country. Only 5% of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Huh? Okay? These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mr. Morgan blamed himself. Mr. Todd blamed himself. Mr. Archie blamed himself. Mr. Daniel blamed himself. Miss Anna blamed herself. Mr. Justin blamed himself. But is there any human without sin? Cheating situation, huh? Yeah, but I let it drag on too long. Anyway, now I really learned who was important to me. To like is to want, but to love is to give, right? It's easy to want something, but some people find it harder to give something. Are you an amateur psychologist or something? No, no. I'm just the missionary of love. <laughs> Whatever. What should we do? The witch is apparently a classmate of ours. Huh? She went to the same school we did at the same time. The school regulations, the teachers, that dance party, it all makes sense now. What are you babbling about? Man, I never realized it. Oh, I see now, in our school. You sure look like you're having fun. What's that supposed to mean? You look happy. <laughs> you think? Coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Anthony Jackson, age 29, has been found dead today. Steve Dello, age 42. Steve, the sheep in my dreams. The voice on the phone, I think. That concludes our coverage for now. Now on to the local weather report. We're in for some rain starting tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you've got your umbrella. After the commercial break, we'll... Are you all right? You look quite tired this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone. Well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So, drink up. Yeah. Thanks. Continuing our you cup and steep. Steep. I think. That concludes. Now on. We're in for some. Make sure you've got after the commercial. Ha <laughs> ha 
Can you hear me? <laughs> the time has come. Are you ready? What? feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Yeah, I'm sure. Sorry for causing a lot of trouble. You apologize to the boss for me. <laughs> See ya. feel rested. I haven't felt like this in a while. Wait, I didn't have any nightmares. Does that mean I'm saved? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody here home? The hell? Does anyone here want to save big money on their internet access? Yeah, right. Give it up already! 